In this problem, we're going to graph the solution set of this inequality in the xy plane. So let's go through it very carefully. Solution. The first step that I like to do in these problems is to graph the equality. So we're going to start by graphing the equality. So I pretend that it's equal to instead of less than or equal to. So we have 2x equals negative 6y plus 12. So let's go ahead and draw the xy plane. So here's y and here's x. So x and y. And it's going to be a solid line. Okay, we're going to use a solid line. And the reason I know that is because we have less than or equal to. If it's less than, it's dotted. But whenever the inequality has the equal to part, it's always a solid line. If it's just like a less than or a greater than, it's a dotted line. All right, so let's graph our equation here. To do that, we can just plug in 0 for x and plug in 0 for y. So if we set x equal to 0, we get 2 times 0 equals negative 6y plus 12. So 0 is equal to negative 6y plus 12. Then we can subtract 12 from both sides. So minus 12, minus 12. These cancel. So negative 12 is equal to negative 6y. And then just divide both sides by negative 6. Divide by negative 6. So we have y equals 2. So when x is 0, y is 2. So we can go right 0 and up 2 and put a dot. Now let's make y equal to 0. When y equals 0, we end up with 2x equals negative 6 times 0 plus 12. So 2x is going to be equal to 0 plus 12. So 2x is equal to 12. Solving for x, we'll divide by 2, and that's because it's being multiplied. So we do like the inverse operation. So x is equal to 6. So when x is 6, y is 0. So we do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Boom. And it's a solid line because we have the equal to part in the, uh, in the inequality. Right? So if it's supposed to be a straight line. <laughs> if it was this, it'd be dotted. Okay? But because it's this, it's solid. All right. Um, there's a couple different ways to determine where to shade. Uh, let's use what's called the test point method. Basically, we can just plug in a point and into this inequality, and if it's true, we shade there. So we have to pick a point that's not on this line. So let's check 0, 0. So two, step 2 is pick a test point. And again, you can pick any number, any ordered pair that's not on the line. So let's do 0, 0. So we're just going to plug in our test point into our inequality. So 0, 0 is here. So if it's true, we're going to shade down here. If it's false, we're going to shade up here. Okay. So 2 times 0, less than or equal to, okay, less than or equal to negative 6 times 0, plus 12. So 0 is less than or equal to 0 plus 12. So 0 is less than or equal to 12. Yes, that is true. Right, 0 is less than or equal to 12. So that means we're going to shade down here. And so this picture would be the graph of the solution set. If it was false, we would have shaded up here, okay? But it wasn't, so we shaded down here. I hope this video has been helpful.